ثاني ثلاث كامل Hey, what's up? My name is Darian Galetta Cruz. They call me Darian the Barbarian, and I work at Ace Face Barbershop IB. So first, when I very first started cutting, what got me to cut was my cousin. He was my older cousin. We lived at my grandparents' house and like we had no money. We, our parents weren't really, you know, like providing us money for haircuts and like shoes and stuff like that. So <clears throat> my older cousin was like, hey, check it out, cut my hair. You know, I'm going to a party, just, just shave my head. I'll give you $5. And I was like, five bucks? Like, man, I was sixth grade. Like five bucks can do a lot. So I was like, you know, I can go to Ice Cream Man or whatever. And my cousin was like, do it. So I just started cutting his hair. Then his friend started coming over, was like, shave my head, I'll give you five bucks. So I started cutting their hair. Then next thing you know, I'm in ninth grade and all my friends are seeing I'm cutting all these older cats up. So I'm cutting their hair. And now I'm just making all this money as a 14 year old, you know what I'm saying? 200 bucks, 300 bucks. It's like, not really many ninth graders make that much money. You know, on Christmas day, you get a couple hundred bucks, you're hyped, that's once a year. I was in ninth grade making like 200 bucks a week, buying whatever I wanted. I was fresh all the time. I didn't have to ask my grandparents for nothing. And you know what I'm saying? I grew up pretty much a little gutter, like a little bit gutter, not really, but you know what I'm saying? I didn't really have somebody like to tell me what to do and how to do anything. I just was under a roof and I had food and that was it. So I had to do everything myself. And this is why I love cutting hair is because I'm making my own money. Whatever I wanna make, I can make. And you know what I mean? There's no limit to it. If I wanna cut for 15 hours in a day, I can. I could start at 4 a.m. and end at you know, 4 a.m. if I really wanted to. But I mean, the money is really good. Plus, you get to hang out with your boys all day. You know what I'm saying? If you're at a really comfortable barbershop, then it's, it's fun, you know what I mean? Like, especially Ace of Fades, we all family here. And it's like, we come in, we don't have to worry about nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to worry about like how I look. I can be wearing the most bummiest stuff and the people still be like, what up, bro? You know, I can be fresh as hell. Like, what up, bro? Like, it don't matter. Like, I like being around my family and friends. And especially if I can provide money and be comfortable and put those together. I mean, man, who wouldn't want to do that? You know what I'm saying? Who wouldn't want money and comfortability? Like, most people make money and hate their job. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying <clears throat> I don't hate this job sometimes. Sometimes my feet hurt, my back hurt. But it comes with, it comes with the territory too. You know what I'm saying? You, you go through things in everything in life, but for the most part, like I said, family, friends, and money, come on, that's the, that's the perfect combination for me. And that's why I love doing this. All right, funny story. Me and Polo have known each other 10 plus years, and he lives around the block from me. So he was cutting hair at his house, I was cutting hair at my house. It wasn't a competition or nothing like that. But the funny thing was, his best friend, Cheapy, was a basketball coach at my school, Southwest High. And my basketball coach was also a barber. So we got two basketball coaches who were barbers. And I hung out with my coach, he hung out with his coach. So, you know, we were just, you know, hanging out with barbers. And eventually we were like, you know what? Let's just get it. Let's just start cutting hair, let's try it out. And we started just cutting in high school and this one time on, it was one of the school dances. We had the whole school lined up for cuts for the school dance at Polo's house in his garage. Like me and him, like it was a little barbershop at his like parents' house. It was, it was pretty trippy. It was like the first taste of what like a barbershop would be like because we were cutting right next to each other. And it was like the whole school, the dance was going on. We didn't even have cuts, bro. We had no, nothing. Like we're all scrubby, but you know what I'm saying? Pockets was fat. So that's how it kind of started. And then, you know, I worked. I, after high school, I graduated and I wasn't really thinking about being a barber. So I just got like a regular job at Kohl's and Pizza Hut, but it was not cutting it. So I quit Kohl's after like maybe a year or two. And I was just chilling at my cousin's house and Polo hits me up. He's like, hey, what's up, man? You still cutting hair? And I was like, yeah, bro, for sure, for sure. He's like, I'm about to open up a shop next, uh, in a little bit, maybe like in a month or two. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, once I find a location, I'll hit you up when you're ready. I was like, yeah, for sure. I wasn't even thinking like, like he was gonna really do it. Within like five, six days, he hits me up. I found the shop, 
found the spot, pull up, and I'm like, oh shit, like, this is real. So my cousin takes me to the shop, we pull up, dope ass spot, Chula Vista, 3rd Ave, Palomar, shout out my boys out there. And you know what I mean, we were just, you know, we just opened up like that, like, just me and him, nine to nine, every day. I had like, zero experience with like, customer service, I was cutting up all my homies. You know, like it wasn't like I was cutting up old men or little kids, I was cutting up all my friends. So if I messed up, it wasn't really a big deal. But once I got there, he asked me, you know how to do everything? You know how to use a straight razor, scissors? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I know how to do everything. I did not know how to do everything. It was not, no, I was like the first week I was asking him, how do I do this? How do I use the razor? How do I use the scissors? I was tripping, but within, I'm gonna say four weeks, he had me on top of my game, you know, he came from another barbershop already. He was already hustling at the mall. So, you know what I mean? He put me on game. And after that, it was just booming, you know what I'm saying? Seven years straight, just chopping every day, every, every day. And, you know, now we're here, you know what I mean? IB, second shop. I, can, I mean, I'm, I'm blessed to be a part of this little movement. And, um, you know, AOF family, you know what I'm saying? Boom, talking to the fucking camera, and people are like, yo, oh, how is he? What did he just do to me? Nah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I was like this, and then I'll be like, yeah, hey, Manny was literally straight up talking in the camera.